guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be Wednesdays with Weston. First, I'm gonna show you six items for kids who do not like toys. And Weston's gonna show you an activity that he just got for Christmas that he seemed to really enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Weston loves playing video games. He loves video games, he loves YouTube, and he loves phone games, iPad games. He is just a game person. So when he asked for this for Christmas, I told his grandparents to get it for him and he absolutely loves it. Um, I'm gonna turn it on and show you. So as you can see, it just has different buttons. It has like this turns and these spin. And you, obviously you pick a character. So I'll be player one. And you can go to like arcade, you can go to dinosaurs. Um, sneak peeks, music, we can do pets, maker, we can practice, there's a playground area. Um, I really like this for two reasons. One, this is getting him off of the TV. It's getting him off of video games and off of the phone. This is him doing something and he's learning while he's doing it. But also, um, for because they have a preview it showed games that you can buy for this and I got him a game and I was able to do the earned not given and um, I had him read 27 books to get to this game and he I had fun doing that with him but he really enjoyed earning that he was so excited to come home and read books from school so I liked that the next item is Okay, so it's called Spin and Play Counting Games. It comes with five fun board games to play and share. So it has the little dice right here, but it has board games inside of it. And it also comes with little chips. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it comes with little chips and you can do board games. So like, like shift and ladders almost and space race. This one is like trouble and grand this one was fun too so i originally got this for him when i was um going into labor with uh leonardo i had made um hospital bags for them a big brother and sister bags and i put this in there because i knew they were going to be bored at the hospital waiting for leo to come okay so i had to go get leo he was he was really fussy so um i was talking about the board book the book the board book, the board game book. And um, any, I have found this to be very helpful for him to play, but also honestly, any board games. His two favorite are Watch Your Mouth and let me open it and show you. It's probably a huge mess. So you guys probably already know when you put this thing in your mouth. Ah! And you talk funny with it. He mainly likes it for that particular reason. <laughs> None other. We don't really play the cards, but they do have cards like Bumblebee, Pepper, and Plowman. Um, that's one of his favorites. And honestly, he could play that by himself too. He just puts it in his mouth and he says funny things. And his next, the next game is um, I Spy Spooky Mansion. He has a couple of I Spy games. We really like this one, and he really likes the other one. Uh, we also have the book, I Spy. So, he is a, pr a pretty big fan of these books. He has Where Waldo, he has Bulk and Find books. He also has, like, all the character books, too. Like, he has a Avengers one, he has a Cars one, and a Star Wars one. And you just have to find items. I think everybody knows what I Spy is. But um, I like this because he can do this one by himself. Um, also, along with this one, it's the Highlights Hidden Pictures, Puzzles to Highlight. I like these in particular because I don't have to read them off to him. He can just look at the pictures and try to find the stuff and then highlight it. I like that. The next item... I put this in his work box. Um, it's called Mini Mega Activity Book. So, 
it has over 600 activities and I just really like, I just pull out a page and I have um, him do the page. It's one of those um, earn not given because when he comes home from school, I like him to do something other than play video games right away. Um, so I like these, like trace race. I like that. I have him do that. How many fish can you count? Write the answer. Trace the letter to help the underwater creature spell out the words. Cool. I like that. I just like it because it's picking his brain in other ways than video games. The next item, I probably think this is maybe my favorite because I enjoy seeing him being creative. It's called um, Blank Comic Book for Kids. He got in this for Christmas from us. And it's basically exactly what I said. It's a blank comic book and he can draw his own comics. I, it's just, to me, it's amazing to watch him draw he, he did this one yesterday and I just truly enjoy watching him do this I mean I love playing with the kid but sometimes I have to play with the kids I have to make dinner I have to do I have to clean up the house so I can't constantly be playing with him and when I don't want him on the tv or playing video games I want him doing this so I love that there's activities for him to do without me like this stuff these he can all do without me and then then we can do stuff together you know so to me I truly enjoy that um I'm all for stuff sparking his imagination simply because he's not a toy person I don't know if it if it's because he is into video games that he doesn't have that imagination so I like being I like finding things that spark that imagination that creativity so Anyways, um, he is going to show you about Little Passports. We got it from his Aunt Audra, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do um, Wednesday with Weston, and my name is Weston, and I'm going to do my passports with my mom. And this is his first package, so we're going to do it together. Yeah. Yeah, we got it a crystal. Woo. Okay, show them what you got. I got a, I got this. I got a little crystal, and it was inside here, and my magnifying glass. Oh yeah, good job. Look at it. Isn't it cool? Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that because I show them the crystal? Yeah, go ahead. You can show them everything. Show them the magnifying glass too. Okay. My mommy reads this. Say hola, that's how you say um, hey, hello. Hola. Okay. Hola in Portuguese. And here's the keys, and here's the two cans. And here's my magnifying glass. Do you know what Brazil has? The Amazon rainforest. Oh, dude, that's weird. <laughs> Here is the tag, it tells you about it. So I'm going to go into a little bit more depth of what Little Passport is. It is a subscription and each month you learn about a different country. This month was the country Brazil. So right here Weston is doing the forest floor as you can see. It is talking about the four layers in the Amazon rainforest and if you can see there's little butterflies and he has to color in those areas and it will um, show you the hidden words. So it says like wild pigs, ant eaters, and insects. And those are the other animals that live on the bottom of the forest floor. So right here, he is going to look for jaguar paw prints. It says, find and circle the jaguar paw prints and how many are under the understory. Write the number in the blank below to complete the fun fact. 
So he is using the magnifying glass, which he absolutely loves, and he's looking for the paw print of the jaguar. The next layer is called a canopy, and I actually did not film Weston doing this because he was really quick with it, but it had him do a maze to find the sloth. It is um, telling him that the leaves create a roof for the bottom layer. So there are sloths, snakes, parrots, toucans, and tree frogs that live in the canopy layer. So the next layer is called the emergent layer. And it, it, that, this was really fun to watch him do. I actually did it with him. We, it's a step-by-step -step on how to draw a spider monkey. And it was actually getting him out of a, his comfort zone on just drawing regular stick figures or monsters so that was fun to watch him do all right so the next side is there is a word search and a word scrambler and i actually found this side to be a little bit harder for him he liked doing the word search but he did give up after a little bit the words were in portuguese and it was just a little bit harder to find than we expected and the word scrabble they wanted us to unscramble the countries that surround the the country Brazil and it was just it was difficult I <laughs> I didn't even have him try because I knew I couldn't unscramble those words all in all I give little passports a 10 out of 10 recommendation it was really fun to do with him and it's getting out of our comfort zone and learning about different countries which you don't normally learn about when you're six years old all right guys I'm gonna end this video I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching I truly appreciate it bye